welcome to the fourth assignment of laboratory practice here this is the first assignment we'll see in unsupervised learning category KMS clustering using Python in unsupervised learning basically we are not going to do any sort of predictions just uh, uh, we have done already in supervised learning techniques here so this is the algorithm where we're going to perform the grouping of the data that we call as the clusters let's see clustering is an uh, unsupervised learning problem where key objective is to identify the distinct groups called clusters based on some notions of similarity within the given data set the most popularly used clustering techniques are KMS clustering and uh, that, that, that comes under the divisive category and the hierarchical clustering which is agglomerative category the main objective of uh, this algorithm is to organize the data into clusters such that there is high intra cluster similarity and low intra cluster similarity present an item will only belong to one cluster not several that is it generates a specific number of disjoints non hierarchical clusters okay basically it uses the strategy of divide and conquer and it's classic example of expectation and maximization algorithm that is em algorithm that we call basically there are two steps which are repeatedly repeatedly done in the em algorithm just similar to the k means also let's see uh, the figure which is shown on left hand side which is unclustered data like we have plotted on two dimensional plane here and uh, when you have to create three clusters out of it so three clusters are shown by different colors here one is blue green and the red that is called as the clustered data so this is your input this will be our output from the claim is clustering algorithms okay this is how uh, the algorithm workflow is there which uh, contains em expectation and maximization so first of all we are going to plot your clusters into dimensional plane something like that if i want three clusters from there so three centroids will be defined initially c1 c2 and c3 and then we are going to find the elements which are having more similar notions of uh, the given centroids c1 c2 and the c3 okay so once the similarity notions are found we are going to change your centroid positions after this c1 will go here c3 will go here c2 will go here so these are the uh, after recalculated centroids after the k-means clustering algorithm is applied that's what uh, the k-means algorithm will work now some of the limitations k-means clustering needs the number of clusters to be specified that is the value of k we have to identify and specify there the k-means has a problem with clusters are of different size densities and non globular shapes presence of outlier even can skew the results of the clustering techniques yeah okay some of the applications use cases where k-means clustering can be applied image segmentation cluster gene segmentation news article clustering clustering languages spaces clustering and anomaly detection okay so let's look at the problem statement given in the university syllabus uh, we are given the collection of eight points p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 p7 and p8 so two dimensions are given two features are given in that and we need to perform k means clustering with initial centroid uh, where first centroid of uh, the first cluster belongs to p1 and second centroid for second cluster is the p8 okay so accordingly we have to find which cluster does p6 belongs to what is the population of clusters around m2 and what is the updated value of the new centroids there okay that we are going to do now let's see how to perform this particular task so i created the code here see how to do these operations okay i require the numpy initially sorry so here i need to start with my python interpreter now let's import numpy and now create the list this is a two dimensional list these are the elements which are mentioned in the problem statements total eight points are there which i put into the list of list so x is the list of list i put all them together there now let's see so as mentioned okay, we need to put uh, two centroids first the first uh, clusters first centroid is this and the second cluster centroid is this which is mentioned over here so these two centroids i have taken uh, in the variable name centers it is just an array which I mentioned already okay now this I'm printing it on the screen these are the initial centroids okay just created like two-dimensional array created okay now 
let's do the clustering so to do the clustering i have a class k means which is present in scalance cluster sub package here so i'm importing that one that's k means and uh, create the object of it yes so model is object of k means here i'm just big number of clusters as mentioned two clusters we need to create and initial centroids with init parameter will contain the centroids which you have created here they are passed as init parameter there okay and the number of init parameters which i mentioned is one now go ahead now we are going to train the algorithm so algorithm is got trained i'm going to use kms algorithm by putting x as input to it number of clusters are two and initial centroids are also mentioned there okay so these are the initial centroids which are mentioned which i'm which the program will be taking it internally this one check it okay so clustering is done object is created now let's see which labels are assigned so two clusters are given see the labels yes that's done so first four belongs to cluster number one this is cluster two again cluster one again cluster two okay so uh, it assigns the numbers to this particular cluster so after the clustering is completed let's see now the first problem statement to which piecings belongs to so obviously they started with zero one two three four five and six okay zero one two three four five and six so it here this is the sixth cluster actually that is model dot labels so model dot labels underscore five the fifth element actually six element in the list will show okay it belongs to cluster number zero that is actually cluster number one now go ahead now we have to find a population around the cluster number two second cluster so i'm using the function np count underscore non zero model dot labels is equal to one so wherever in this particular list in this particular list not exactly list it's array in this particular array wherever the one is there okay that will be counted so how many number of times is one present over there that we are going to count three so let's check this one one two three so population around the cluster two is three the three elements are present in cluster number two that we can find and the last one finding the new centroids let's see find new centroids model dot cluster underscore center underscore center so cluster underscore centers this is an attribute of the k-means object which stores the updated clusters centers inside it say this they are updated okay they are the new centroids if already when you have started working with that these centroids were present and now they are updated as what well. it was 0 0.148 updated so initially we have 0 0.1 0 0.6 it has become this one and uh, point 0.3 has changed to 0 0.246 point 0.2 has changed to okay it is not changed it's exactly same as it is okay so that's what the basic operation that we can do with the help of the chemist clustering even it is possible to visualize the clustering also we can use matplotlib to visualize these particular clusters that's also possible that uh, some of uh, the application that we can make from there okay so you answer all the questions of uh, the given data okay thank you for watching this video this creative created by mythoskillology so you can search mythoskillology on instagram facebook twitter linkedin and this video is present on youtube.com also if you're having any queries you can just uh, mail us at this particular mail id contact at the rate video.co.in or the author tushar at the rate tusharkote.com also thank you thanks a lot